hello everyone you are welcome to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve and evaluate the value of this nice math problem that is 9 raised to power 7 minus 9 raised to power 6 so what we will do here here first of all we will change this 7 to the sum of 6 plus 1 so this will become equal to 9 to power 7 can be written as 9 to power 6 plus 1 minus 9 to power 6. Now in this one term we will use an exponential math property to split the power 6 and 1 over 9. So here we will use this one exponential math property in this one term. It is to power m plus n can also be written as it is to power m times it is to power n. So by using this exponential property here in this one term this equation will become is equal to it will become 9 raised to power 6 times 9 raised to power 1 minus 9 raised to power 6. Now what we will do here, here we will take 9 raised to power 6 common from both the terms. So let us take 9 raised to power 6 common. So here 9 raised to power 1 which is simple 9 minus here only 1 is left. Now further 9 raised to power 6 times 9 minus 1 is 8. Now what we will do here, here first we will change this 9 to its exponential form. We can write this 9 as 3 square. So this will become 3 square whole raised to power 6 times 8. Now here in this one number we will use an exponential math property and we will interchange the position of these two powers 2 and 6. So here in this one term we will use this exponential math property r s to power m whole raised to power n can also be written as r s to power n whole raised to power m so using this exponential property here we will change the position of these two powers so this equation will become is equal to this will become 3 s to power 6 whole s to power 2 times add now what we will do here in this step in this step we will try to find the value of 3 to power 6 now here we can write this 3 to power 6 as 3 to power 6 can be written as 3 to power 3 plus 3 and this can be further written as 3 to power 3 times 3 to power 3 now here 3 to power 3 means we need to multiply 3 3 times. So 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So 3 is to power 3 is 27 times 27. Or this can be written as 27 square. Now what is the value of 27 square or 27 times 27? So we will multiply it here. 27 times 27. So here 7 times 7 is 14, 9, 9, 4 will be carried, 7 times 2 is 14, 14 plus 4 is 18. Now 2 times 7 is 14, 4, 1 will be carried, 2, two times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So this will become, this is 9, this is 12, 1 will become here, this is 7. So 27 times 27 is 729. So the value of 3 is to power 6 is 729. So here we will replace this 3 is to power 6 with its value. So this will become is equal to 3 is to power 6 is 729 whole square times 8. Now in next we will change this number to the sum of 700 plus 29. So this will become, we can write 729 as 700 plus 29. 
होल स्क्वेयर टाइम्स एट नहर इन दिस वन टर्म वी विल यूज इन अल्जेब्रिक आइडेंटिटी ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वेयर आइडेंटिटी सो हेर वी विल यूज दिस वन आइडेंटिटी इन दिस टर्म ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर प्लस टू टाइम्स ए बी सो यूजिंग दिस आइडेंटिटी दिस इक्वेशन विल बिकम First, a is seven hundred, so this will become seven hundred square plus b is twenty nine, so it will become twenty nine square plus two times a b. You know, a is seven hundred and b is twenty nine. This is close times eight. Now here we will try to find the value of seven hundred and twenty nine square. So the value of seven hundred is very simple. Seven square is forty nine, and we will double these zeros. So this will become four zeros. Plus, now we will find the value of twenty nine square here. Twenty nine square is twenty nine times twenty nine. So this will become nine times nine is eighty one. One eight will be carried. Nine times two is eighteen. Eighteen plus eight is twenty six. No, two times nine is eighteen. Eight one will be carried. Two times two is four. Four plus one is five. So one eight plus six is fourteen. Four one will become here. Two one three five. This is eight. So twenty nine times twenty nine is eight hundred forty one. So here we will replace twenty nine square with eight hundred forty one plus. Now here we need to multiply these three numbers. So first we multiply twenty nine with this number. So this will become twenty nine times zero is zero. Twenty nine times zero is zero. No, twenty nine times seven is nine times seven is sixty three. Three six will be carried, and two times seven is fourteen. Fourteen plus six is twenty. So this will become twenty thousand three hundred. Brace is close times. Add. Now here we will multiply these two inside the parentheses. So this will become four nine zero triple zero plus eight hundred forty one plus. Now this will become two times zero is zero. Two times zero is zero. Two times three is six. Two times zero is zero, and two times two is four. So this gives him forty thousand six hundred times eight. Now we will add these three numbers and then we multiply the result with eight. So this will become. Now let's start from the ones position. So zero plus one plus zero is one. So zero plus four plus zero is four. No six plus eight is fourteen. Fourteen plus zero is fourteen. So four one will be carried to the next number. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. No further. Four plus nine is thirteen. So three one will be carried to this number. So four plus one is five. So the addition of these three numbers gives him five hundred thirty-one thousand four hundred forty-one times eight. So we will multiply eight with this number. So eight times one is eight. Eight times four is thirty-two. So two three will be carried. Eight times four is thirty-two. Thirty-two plus three is thirty-five. Five three will be carried. Eight times one is eight. Eight plus three is eleven. So one one will be carried. Eight times three is twenty-four. Twenty-four plus one is twenty-five. So five two will be carried. Eight times five is forty. Forty plus two is forty-two. So finally, this the answer is four million two hundred fifty-one thousand five hundred and twenty-eight. So this is our final answer. And value of
this nice exponential and interesting math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching